Hi guys! Hello! I keep Hi. holding this little thing. Like I like it. I'm like, it's cool, right? It makes me feel very powerful. And you know how I feel about that. You like it. <gasps> this is a portion of our series. It's the last portion. Of a change will do you good. That's right. We talked it, about circumstances. We, we talked did. about friends. This is about your environment. This what one can you change about it? is a hard one, ladies and gentlemen. This one's a tough one, especially for moms, for people that have families. Yep. This one is, um, if you're a single gal or you just like me with no kids, I'm telling you, it's that it's not as difficult because I, you know, you just come home and I say, Ben, we're doing this, and he's like, okay, whatever you but say. A lot of husbands don't say, okay, whatever you say. So well, for them, even for people ladies, that, you just say, we're doing this. You have a good husband. I do. Where's my Ben? He's coming. All right. So let's get started. Environment. The thing about your environment is it's where you live your life, mm -hmm. your daily life. It's yep. where you go to bed at night. It's where yep. you wake up in the morning. It's yep. where you serve your kids breakfast. It's yep. where you serve your husband breakfast. It's where you eat breakfast. Think about what's in your environment and how is it sabotaging you. Yep. There was, um, you know, I had to do some house remodeling and there was a certain chair that I always sat on all the time and I watched TV and I had to get rid of the chair. Remember the, remember the, the oh, seafoam yeah. green chair? Beautiful Tiffany box blue chair. But I sat on it and ate and ate and ate and ate all the time. And I just want to sit on my chair and I just want to sit there. Mm -hmm. And I was like, you know what? That chair brings back way too much. Get it out. That's right. Your pantry. What's in your pantry? Huge. I think that's... You've got stuff in the back hiding, box of brownies that you just keep on hand in case someone comes over. I'll be in the bed thinking about that box of brownies all night. And not to mention, I mean, everybody's always like, oh, I need to keep this around in case I have company. You don't need to be feeding company brownies all exactly. the time. I'm exactly. sorry. If I came to your house and you gave me brownies, I would feel guilty and have to eat one. And then I'd leave and be like, that woman made me eat brownies. Because, you know, I mean, it's, it's for birthdays and stuff, it's okay. But if it's a Wednesday, nobody but needs brownies. But it's, if it's for that, either go out and buy a cake or make yeah. it, buy the ingredients that day. Don't let it sit there and just. Because exactly. then you'll think, oh, well, I'll just, I'm, I'm having a oh, well, bad day. <laughs> oh, it's Thursday. We need brownies. I don't know about it's you, brownie but Thursday. I'm no. telling you, I any day is a brownie day for Absolutely. me if it's there. Absolutely. So really, so think about that. really keep control. We did a blog not too long ago called, um, that was inspired by a conversation I had with my dad called, Is Your Kitchen Your Friend or Your Foe? Right. And I think so many battles are won and lost in the kitchen, 100%. especially for any kind of weight loss journey Absolutely. or a health journey at all. It doesn't have to just be weight loss. Mm -hmm. And I think it's super important to set yourself up for success and not in failure. your kitchen. I mean, it's super important. If you if you have crappy, I keep saying that. I, I'm sorry. I, I don't know what better word to use, but crappy's if, okay. If you have crappy like pots and pans and stuff, and it's not inspiring, you're not going to want to cook. Mm -hmm. So that's a good point. You don't have to have to spend a whole lot of money. I mean, you can go to Walmart or I know Home Goods and a lot of TJ Maxx. A lot of places have inexpensive, really nice, high quality cookware that you can buy. Get yourself like one nice skillet, one nice soup pot. I have these beautiful cobalt blue soup pots that every mm -hmm. time I get out, like I want to cook you in make them. Soup. So my and I went to the extreme. You know, I didn't do a lot of cooking before the show except for mm -hmm. really bad cooking like biscuits and fried chicken and things like that mm -hmm. and casseroles with mm -hmm. cheese and potato chips on top. Anything with uh, cream and mushroom soup, she's uh, made right. it. And so, you know, all the money I've saved from not eating out so much, I remodeled my entire kitchen. I mean, her kitchen, we're going to have to do like a video of it soon. It new countertops, new so backsplash, new appliances, and I did beautiful. it on a budget. She did. She did a great job. It's a beautiful kitchen. It's like every time we go over there, we'll be like, let's just go stand in the kitchen. But the thing so is, is I, I spend so much time in there when I'm home now because I make r meals for on the road. You know, I make snacks and things like that. I take food to work. And so I thought to myself, I want to be in a kitchen that I feel like I love and, and it kind of reflects my new self, not just the old Hannah. And I know for me, I, the kitchen was always kind of a source for anxiety for me. Like sure. I always would go in and out, in and out all day, all night of the kitchen, like picking at this, picking at that. And now I don't even have things in there to pick at. Right. So, I mean, there are times I'll still go in there just out of habit and I'll just be like, oh, well, there's nothing in there's here, nothing but, in here but broccoli and apples and chicken or whatever. And that's okay because, you know, if I really want something, I can have the apple right. or almonds or something. And it is difficult. But if you think about it in the long run, I mean, again, I don't have children and Hannah doesn't have children. So I can't not yet. speak not, to not, not. Exactly. We can't really speak to this. But I will say, we all know, you know, Capri Suns and all those sugary drinks. So it's it's not only not good for you and your weight loss, but it's really not good no. for your kids. No go-go juice, people. 
I mean, you know, it's it's a way to start incorporating and teaching and exactly. empowering your kids. At a young age. Let your kids help you with the grocery list. Absolutely. Let your kids, maybe you sit down at the computer, you know, on a Sunday afternoon and say, we're going to go to the grocery store for the week. Let's let's get online and, and research together some healthy meals. Like, right. what do you think is a Let healthy meal? Let them pick. Tuesday night's kids' night. They get to pick what, Absolutely. Wants, what they want to eat out of these three choices. They get to pick and, and have them help you cook. That's you know, right. any child can be held by a parent while they stir something sure. or I mean obviously you're not just gonna let your kids in the kitchen with like meat cleavers and like well, of course you know gas Blenders. stoves but I also one of our moms on my inspiration um, every night before her kids go to bed it's a ritual they help her pack their lunches That's they pick great. they do f pick fun napkins and they have colored Ziploc baggies and they get to pick whether they want carrots and ranch or do they want this and this and she said they it's become this new tradition and it helps her pack her own lunch, even though she stays at home, she packs her lunch too. So she won't go off and eat something bad while they're at school. Or let the Smart kids, lady. Let the kids pack your lunch. I mean, what a great thing. Okay, we're gonna make mom's lunch tomorrow. And let's, what, what's Help mom mom's gonna have? Help, Help mom stay on track. And I, I've never even thought about that. What mm -hmm. a great idea yeah. to buy a fun lunch box yeah. or lunch sack or like fun sure. Ziploc bags or whatever. And even though there are carrots in there, it seems more exactly. fun because, you know, there it's in a princess, Jasmine. One of my most favorite bag. things about when we were growing up is our mom always packed our lunch and she always wrote us a note on our napkin. Always. And so every day it was something different. It was special. And I love that. And even though when I wiped my face I had black Sharpie all over it, but it was <laughs> still special. <laughs> love you, Boo Eats. But your environment, clean so out your important. pantry. Make sure you have lots of herbs and spices. I tell people That's all right. the time, herbs and spices. Now we'll I'm not talking something. about herbs and spice blends that have like salt and extra sure. stuff. And I'm talking about make sure you have dried Italian seasonings and yes. garlic powder and onion powder and all of these things that are zero calories. Right. And they add so much flavor to, to, food. to different foods and vegetables. And maybe you experiment with seasonings with your kids. Be like tonight sure. we're gonna have you know like an Asian inspired dinner and you pick things like Chinese five spice yeah. and whatever to put on the green beans and let the kids be a part of it even sure. if it's something they end up not liking it's still something fun for Absolutely. them because they're trying it and so getting them involved yeah and they're gonna eat it because they made it exactly so anyways this like is this one. just I do this one's really important this is just like a practical way that you can really really change and your environment it will give you tangible results like Abs that. hands down hands down so don't Making let the right choice don't, don't set yourself up to fail that's right that's right give yourself the best best chance of success and get those brownies out of the kitchen if you want a brownie, go to the bakery and get one. Right, one. If you want pizza, go out and get it. Don't bring it to your house because you right. know you're not going to throw away the leftovers. That's right. That that's another good. Don't bring stuff home. It's a problem. From dinners Keep and your desserts and right. You know. Right. So anyways. Or if you have leftovers, um, you know, and like, m I struggle with this with our dad because mm -hmm. he doesn't like to throw things away because it's wasting. But you know, sometimes it's better in the garbage than it is in your stomach. That's right. So. Why don't you tell us in the comments, you know, what, what are you ways, doing to clean up your environment? How are you changing your environment? Name one thing in your environment that you can change. I know I've got at least four or five that sure. I, can, I can always be I reminded. I need to be more green. I know that. I need I to do. be more green. I need to be more in control of my almond butter. That's why I had to get the peanut butter out. Well, we had to do it, didn't we? Yes. So anyways, comment, subscribe, like, tweet, love. All of that. All of it. And if you know somebody that you think these would possibly help. Let's get help, connected, people. Let's all get connected. If you, you just... Pass it on. Pass on our YouTube channel. Um, we're super excited to build this community with yeah. you guys. And we love you. Make some great videos. And until next time, we will see you later.